Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm from Families and Babies Breast Vegan Support. We're a charity that operates in some parts of the UK and we provide antenatal and postnatal support for families. I'm from the Wakefield team in West Yorkshire. Please seek your own local support if you are finding you having breastfeeding difficulties. You can find this information out usually from your midwife or health visiting team. I think this week has been absolutely fantastic and it's been such a lovely thing um, to sort of hear and see people's stories um, about their bodies and pregnancy and how the changes. I think we should be really, really proud of what our bodies do, growing and nurturing and feeding babies as well. So I'm going to chat a little bit today about um, the, your breast changes during pregnancy, during breastfeeding and after pregnancy and breastfeeding as well. So during pregnancy, our bodies are getting ready to feed our babies and the potential changes due to this. We might find that our breasts get a little bit bigger and nipples are getting a little bit bigger, that our areolas are getting darker. We might find that we have some more prominent veins to our breasts and some stretch marks as well due to the increase in size. You might find that your nipples are a bit tender and your breasts are as well and you may be starting to leak colostrum during pregnancy. So when our babies are born, there isn't a sudden change to our breasts. They may feel very, very similar as they did in pregnancy. Initially, we produce colostrum, which is a clear, cloudy, sometimes yellowy, thick, sticky liquid packed full of nutrients for our baby. It's so, so good for our baby's colostrum and it's all they need in those first few days. People call it baby's first immunisation because it is just so good for them. Your milk usually comes in at day three to five and initially we'll be overproduced so we may suffer with something called engorgement which means our breasts are going to feel quite heavy, quite full, quite hard and a bit sore as well. You may find that you leak at this stage. Engorgement settles quickly if we are only taking from our bodies what our baby needs so just feeding responsibly on demand. You may find that your nipples are a little bit sore. Usually this, is, this suggests that the position in attachment is, isn't quite right. And this is when I would suggest seeking some breastfeeding support if you can. Um, nipple pain is common, but it isn't normal. And we really can usually find a reason for that. So please do seek some help if you can. So during breastfeeding, your breasts may be lopsided, so we can have more milk ducts in one than the other, and babies sometimes can have a preference as well. You may find that they're either more or less sensitive as well. You may find that they leak. Now, this can happen or not. Um, you, you may find that you leak during pregnancy and breastfeeding. You may find that you don't leak during either, um, and either is absolutely fine. You may find that they're bigger, softer, and potentially lower as well. So after feeding and after pregnancy, it's very, very dependent on how long you breastfed for. If you breastfed, um, your weight gain and loss during breastfeeding and pregnancy, your genetics and your age as well. So after feeding and pregnancy, you may find that your breasts are less firm. They're a bit lower. They feel fuller than they did when you were breastfeeding. And you may find that those stretch marks are still there as well. Changes vary for every woman and every pregnancy, whether you experience lots, very little or no change at all, it's all absolutely fine and will have no bearing on how you can feed your baby. So I really, really hope that this has been informative and useful for you and we're really, really glad as fab to have taken part today. Thank you. Bye.